What up, Slacker? Slacker out here. Welcome back to Vampire. Now, I've been trying to record for a while now. I, I've tried like maybe three episodes or so, but they keep crashing on me. And I made a little bit of progress, not too much, but I haven't gotten any at all, really, because it keeps crashing on me. So, I looked it up. It's kind of an issue with Vampire on PC. Um, the game starts to like um, freeze and crash. So I stopped playing for a while. I make sure all my game, uh, I mean, all my software is updated. So I don't know. I let the, my, I even let my laptop, which I'm playing on, uh, cool down for a while. So I don't know what the issue is. So uh, let's get it started. <clears throat> yeah, let's continue. So I made a little bit of progress. Uh, I have to go to Whitechapel to find. The blackmailer, I have to go through guards to open up gates to get to it. Um, nothing much really except that. I have to go that way. So hopefully it doesn't crash on me again. I've tried, this is my third time trying to record an episode. So I don't know. Hopefully. I'd step back too. I know, I know. I heard you. Let's get ya. Bite ya, bite ya, bite ya, bite ya, bite ya, yum, 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 yum. Whoa, no, no, no. Keep going this way. Yes, I'm fast, bitches. Get up, get up, get, get you, get you, get you. Whoops, whoops, nope, 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 nope. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. No, no, okay. Fuck me. And I've fought these guys so many times already. It's insane. No, go. Don't get hit. Shit. Damn it. No. No. I swear to God. Shit. Hmm. I'm trying to keep my cool. I'm trying to keep my cool. And I'm not talking because I'm really trying to focus. Because I just want to get progress done. Before the it, if it crashes again, and I don't want that to happen. Okay. All right, let's do this. I'm better prepared, I think. Come on, come on. Drink, 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 drink. Okay, okay. Come on. Drink, yes, yes. Should have been using the club all along. Go, go. Come on. Come on. Drink, 
drink you. Oh my god. I think I might be able to do it this time. Yes. Oh, thank the Lord. Finally did it. Finally. Finally did it. Oh, yes. Wait, what? It's locked. Why won't it open? Do I have to kill all of them? Can I go this way? Oh, okay. That's something. I'll take this side. It's right there. Right? I am there. Oh, thank God. Okay, progress. You don't even know. I am so happy. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Okay. Anything? Anything up? Nothing? What's up there? Oh. Uh, okay. Large box of pills. What kind of pills they use? Anything? No? You're still poaching? Oh, uh, whatever. There's two people arguing up there. Albert. <gasps> the wet boots will be proud of me. Dude, are you okay? You guys just got sh the bastard at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm, I'm a doctor. doctor. Name's Albert. I know shit. Remember Albert, it's my name, now, dude. Off. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. You, man. The man you were look... Huh. The man you were looking for is dead. I found the recruiter you were expecting. Huh. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Okay. This note was found on a dead man, Albert. If that doesn't change your mind, then you must be ready to face the risks. You all fancy words, none of which concern me. Uh -huh. Don't worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Now I'm going to worry about you, dude. Promising recruit. Investigation succeeded. Okay. No, I can't do that. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Okay. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Shut up, yeah. mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Hmm. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Sod off? You sod off. Tell me to sod off. Okay. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Motherfucker. Alright. Goodbye, young man. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. Sort of bloody joke to you, eh? Stupid 
I want to walk slow. It won't let me. Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? Yeah, wouldn't you say, buddy? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed. And I'd like to ask you a few questions. If you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Well, maybe. You don't know that. Uh... Why did you shoot this? Why did you Whatever shoot the, the boy? boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just he just faked me last nerve. Uh, tell me about what the war. It, Benjamin? it was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket lock. What happened? What happened, dude? Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. You should not You should not feel ashamed. I think I might get more aware if I like I tell them they did something hor like yeah, those are barbaric. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even <clears throat> scared of the dark these days. Hmm. Any more personal questions? No. What is it, Benjamin? Oh, it no, no, no. War, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah, Your yeah. Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier uh, to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. To our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. Yeah, PTS, post-traumatic stress, yeah. That's a bitch. I mean, I've never been to war, I've never done anything like that, and... To the people who have, and, and, you know. But... Uh... Tell what me about this tell place. Me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. Um... Uh, I'm looking for you know, yeah. Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital. Have you heard anything? It's funny. I've been searching for it too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? The well, phantom, she huh? She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Huh. Migraine, can I give you something? Huh. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Yeah, okay. Wait. Oh, no. Thought I saw something over there. Okay, it seems like this might be a safe zone. Finally, no, nobody's gonna. I'll not die in some piss stinking alley, reeking worse than a weak old lappy. No one's gonna try to get me here. Anything? Are those rats? Those are rats. Can I go down here? What's down here? Nah, a damn thing. All right, let's go back up here. 
And let's go this... Let's go this way. Alright, going that way, huh? Alright, alright, alright. Hello, woman. Hello. Who are you? Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh. Oh, really? really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Oh, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. A fellow healer, huh? Okay. No. Any, no. Let's trade? Maybe that I'd might like get her. To see what kind of medicine you're selling. Possible. Uh, I don't really need any of this, though. Good evening, my dear colleague. Your dear colleague, huh? Let's talk about her life in London. Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. The Mute Forest. Is there anyone I should avoid? What do you think of the locals? What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Hmm. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The Cadogan Bates. The remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Okay. No personal. Do you ask. know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. All right. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. Okie doke. The Swanborough Cordial can be the answer to all your problems. Let's see. As long as you have the money. As long as you have the money, huh? Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even then anything over here? What's this way? Ooh. Shadiness. No, anything. Nope. All right. Let's go this way. This is where I'm trying to get to, huh? Okay. Let's get on in. Let's see what happens. Hello. What do you want? Leave, Leave me, me alone. alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Doctor Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. <laughs> to enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Okay. Did he go out the back? Oh, there he is. Oh, there she is, that bitch. She's always got blood all over herself. So at the door when fucking the murder. Our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? 
His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same hmm. cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I don't know. Is she doing something shady or is she actually helping people? It's locked, all right. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby journalist? The they just mentioned. Journalist by the. What? Okay. Okay. Where is that at? Two different places, huh? Okay. I guess. Let's go this way. Hello. Bye bye. Hi. You are blinded by your false faith, imprisoned by your daily routine, unable to see the truth. Oh, hello. My interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father I'm a vampire, by the way. <laughs> is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I'm but I'm an Dr. immortal. Jonathan Reed. And I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought myself. Really? God, you're such a... Alright. Um... I am more lost than you thought. I don't know about that. Maybe... What do you mean? You say that I am more lost than you thought. All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences, and most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Hmm. Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. I'm listening. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. I might get something out of it. You must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Ah, uh, okay. What Great. is your plan? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. You mean, how exactly will you cleanse the city? I am more lo- Tell me, Tobias. What exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. But where do you put the... This is the 20th... Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes, the buildings, the corpses, worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small time Torquemada. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son. If you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. 
Joseph a fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Okay. I have had enough for tonight. Good night. Or bye. Jeez, I don't even want to. Can I go in? No, I can't. Can I go in? Okay. Really? Shit, there's like three more of them. Come on. Okay then. Anything? Anything? Who are you? You're totally dead. Cigarette case, huh? Smoking is bad for you. Close to this one. Is it here? Uh... Who the fuck are you? What the fuck are you doing in the... Yeah, yeah, hi. Jonathan. Oh, that's me. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town. My words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Hmm. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially mm. with strangers. Nice. But are you not afraid of the epidem epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. In the eyes of the flu. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, thoughts on the situation in London? Your life could be in danger here. Yeah, personal question? Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Stirring and challenging. Do you think it a little morbid? Do you have examples? Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir, Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Cool. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps. I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, uh, 
will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? <laughs> okay. Um. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you if I can. Okay. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. <laughs> He's all about words. Sorry, no, never heard of him. Okay, what about? Can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Hmm. Communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Yeah, I guess not a... Not a fan of the arts. Personal? No. What are you doing here in your life? Yeah. Okay. I'll leave you alone, sir. Find the inhabitants in Whitechapel. Find Clayton Darby. Alright, I guess I'm off to find Clayton Darby. Let's go this way. Um, let's see, I guess I can go down this way. Thank God my, the, the game hasn't frozen up yet. Huh. Okay. That was just a flower, shiny flower. Let's, uh, anything? Ooh. Can I go this way? But what's this way? Um, why should I go up here? It's all blocked off. Whatever. Okay, I'm getting back down now. Oh, I see why. It's closed off right here. Okay. So let me go to the left. No time to talk, lady. Ugh. She's a whore. Where? So I must find Clayton somewhere. Are you Clayton? One of y'all Clayton? Welcome, sir. Uh, please take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Doctor? Barrett. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually no. I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Okay, no, 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 no. Bye for now, Mr. Lewis. Where? You. Who are you? Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist. Joe. I answer the first one, so piss off. I'm not a journalist. I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed. At your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe the most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Motherfucker. Well, fuck are you? Fuck are you? Uh, I saw another guy around here. You. Is that you? Are you? Are you the person I'm looking for? Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Oh, I Name think you are. Darby, 
important. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. All right. Your start with your investigation. No news people to speak of the epidemic. Not afraid of getting her. What are you doing here? What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go to inform the country. Huh? You risk your life to reveal the truth. Is the public? Huh? So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. All right, all right, all right. Um. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be terrorized yeah. by news of deadly diseases. Really? It's a disgrace. People are left to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. No personals. Should I keep? I'm not afraid of getting... Not afraid of getting out at night. Okay, whatever. Let's go to this. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Hmm. Why do you care? A nurse I know is compromised. It's confidential. I care about public health. I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities ah could it be dorothy crane without yeah doubt, dorothy green that's the bitch you know her journalist, Mr. Darby. you know her huh what do you know of her accomplice a man named darius i don't know much about the man he's very cautious never goes out never goes out to have any friends or family hmm he has no friends or family uh he never goes out he never goes out no a few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went hmm. to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Motherfucker. Personal? No. Okay, well... That's it, right? Bye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. File the mailbox. Find the mailbox and the letter. Really? Okay. Man, it's making me go all over the place. Fuck. Is this the mail? Where's the mailbox? If I were a mailbox, where would I be? Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> My dearest, most beloved children, I am so sorry you have not heard from me for a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly when, when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by war. Sucks. But here is also a war. But there is also a. Blah, 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 but there is also a war going on here in England. A war against poverty, against injustice. This is a war I intended to fight despite the adva my advanced years. This is why I'm writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. The, that probably means I won't see you again before I die. Oh, don't be sad, my darlings. You, you are grown up now. You have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This is one I must make now. To feel useful one more time, I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me. 
Oh, okay. Now I feel bad for the guy. And remember that your father loves you with all, all the way from this cold, damp country. <sighs> I'm as ever your loving father, Darius, but Tur Trescu. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me Damn. more leverage to enter. This you is know, true. A bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, woman of the night. Wait, is this it? Hello. Yeah, this is it. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Let me in. Should I ask him to let me in? Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. Harry Potter? My dreams are so Harry Potter? Gloom. So, this is... May I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Ooh, okay. Not happy in living... my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Hmm. You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. And that's true. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't that's even true. consulted when we moved here. Hmm. I hear shit upstairs. I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. Mm. If only I could be tough, like. Well, you know. Mm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Okay. Goodbye, young man. Okay. Take care of yourself. Whatever. He's depressed. Even my dreams are soaked with gloom. We'll take some of your shit, though, okay? We'll take some of your shit. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Okay. Bye. Pain and suffering. Sorry. Bye. There you are, there you are, there you are, okay. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Go away. Memories level two required. Mm. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? Yeah, man. We fight to help the poor, sick, help and abandoned. Me I'm help me like help you. you. Help me yes, help you. you are. Yeah. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know we're here what to help. we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have so much make better. Your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't Thank you. Make me regret this, though. I will not let you regret. Okay. Anything here? What you got over here? 
What you got over here? I'm just gonna take all your shit. How do you think about that, motherfucker? You like that? Look, large box of pills. Those are your pill. Those are your 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 pills. I took that shit. Look, look at all them shillings. Fucking took five shillings. I could have bought you a burger, but fuck that. I took it. You're not gonna hit me in the back of the head, are you? Once I leave the door. Don't hit. Okay. Anything over here? Hello? Any sick people behind the wall? No? I could have gone that way. Alright. Let's talk, bitch. What you been doing? What you been... Um... Where are you? Dorothy... Woman? Where are you? Don't be. I don't want to be playing no games. Where are you? Don't be sneaking up behind me. It's a little creepy in here. Where'd you go? Hello? A letter to Nurse Crane. What's the letter to Nurse Crane say? Letters. Whatever. What's going on up here? That don't sound good. Like, he's turning into a vampire. I'm taking all your shit, by the way. Hi. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vassily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosis oh, shit. influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Uh... Anything else I should know? Where are the... Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp! Hand me that scalp! Oh, shit. Oh, what shit. Do, doctor? Oh, uh, I must perform... Uh, do we have any anesthetics? Fuck anesthetics. He's choking. Do it now. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. <clears throat> he's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. What? Another tube. A okay. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Okay. Don't question me what... What you suggest. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I have no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. Oh, damn, his eyes. They look crazy. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? Ooh. I, I can't see. Um, I must suture the artery. Let me finish alone. Uh, shit. Let me finish. I don't know. Let's do it. Toughen up. First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. 
shit. Uh, cardiac massage now. Epinephrine now. Epinephrine now. A dose of epinephrine now. Yes, doctor. Did I kill him? Did I kill him? Oh, I think I killed him. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Yes. Damn. We did everything we could. Truly, everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Man. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Maybe I should have done it alone. Man, now I feel guilty. Fuck. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Hmm. You can't carry on with this. I've come to stop the blackmail. Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you yeah. think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. I'm trying to try to reason with... <sighs> um, why target... Why not trust Dr. Swansea? The end justifies... Hmm... Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't Why? Even speak English. They depend on me for everything. <sighs> Why target her? Lady Ashbury. Why her of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. What? The blackmail must stop. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Spare, I look away, but you resign. Embrace, I'm ending this right now. No. No, she's trying to do the right... She's doing it fucked up way, but she's trying to do the right thing. And again, I can't, I can't hate on her for trying to help people that are dying. So spare, but you gotta resign. No, your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then? No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest. To help finance your noble endeavors. Hmm. It's a good offer, I guess. It's better we than going to jail. A deal, doctor. 
Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. What? Uh... What? I don't know what that was. Okay, that was weird. What the fuck? Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Did I do something bad? Why did it say the... That it, it would suffer? That this place would suffer? Was I supposed to get rid of her? Was I supposed to kill her? Okay. The club is slow, but it's powerful. Yo, let me in. Hello, Doctor Reed. Come on in. Thank you. Why does it still say find a way to get in? I already found a way to get in. I've been gotten in. Take your shillings. Alright, well. That's all the time I have for this episode. It's gone along. Thankfully, my, my computer didn't crash again. Or, the game didn't crash again. So, it's really interesting. This game is like... I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. I mean, Nurse Dorothy... I think Dorothy, right? Yeah, Nurse Dorothy was trying to help people... That couldn't go to any other place. And if I would have put her in jail, she couldn't help those people anymore. So, but it said that the whole thing would suffer my thing. So it makes me think like I made the wrong choice? I'm not sure. I thought I was doing something good. She stopped blackmailing. She could still help people. I don't know. And I could benefit from her too, so... I think I did the right thing, so, yeah. <laughs> Please, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below if you liked the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.